I'll call to order the Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 Personal and Appointments Committee meeting at 536. Counselors present are Melendez and Zapiri. Um, on to the approval of minutes. Do I have, do I hear a motion to approve the minute, meeting minutes of the May meeting? So moved. I'll second that. Any discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed abstention carries unanimously 2-0-0. All right, on to new business. Um, I make a motion to recommend um, a resolution appointing Sue Sutherland to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Second. Pardon me, did you say reappointment, Chairman? Um, I said appointment. Yeah, it's a reappointment. It's a reappointment. Okay. Okay, I make a motion to recommend a resolution reappointing Sue Sutherland to the Planning and Zoning Commission. I'm seconding for purposes of discussion. Okay, thank you. Welcome, um, Susan Sutherland. Thank you. My first question to you would be, um, what do you hope on accomplishing as you continue to serve on the per, uh, on the Planning and Zoning Commission? Well, um, I would say first off, on I think any commission like this, we do work as a team and um, each of us has one vote if we're seated, of course. <clears throat> and I think uh, what I've always tried to do is I think it's good to really be knowledgeable about the town's um, planning and zoning really regulations, the plan of conservation development, the zoning regs, WRPD special um, situations there. And then to um, really give an open mind, listen to any concerns or what's up before us. Um, as you know, we have quite a varied agenda um, every two weeks and it's, um, it's always quite interesting. But um, as part of that team, I think it's really important to make sure you understand you know, what your rules are and then try to accommodate, um, encourage business, um, try to encourage a good balance between neighbors and business, especially in downtown Mystic and other challenges that come up. Um, for me, it's just a great opportunity to hear directly from the community. Very good, thank you. Councilor Zapiri, do you have any questions? Yeah, I'm just uh, uh, wondering, you said that you are trying to balance interests of neighbors and uh, businesses. Uh, uh, where are the limits of the activities of the Planning and Zoning Commission? No, I think that's an excellent question. And when we first really experienced it was on the Zoning Commission as businesses and restaurants and everything started to really come into downtown Mystic. And yet you had people living just either up on the ledge there um, so they could certainly hear everything. Some people right on the street or some in the condominiums. It was quite a, um, you know, it was a very good vocal group, interested group. They were totally engaged in what was happening to their neighborhood. And yet um, out of what had been kind of a, um, uh, not too active business scene in downtown Mystic and started to grow. <clears throat> so um, what the commission can do is to set things like <clears throat> make sure that the building is planned so you don't have the exhaust vents going up <laughs> close to somebody's house or other you know, place you don't want it. You can certainly dis, um, discuss and agree on what the hours of operation are going to be. Um, and I think that worked really well. Um, it started years ago when there was a certain business that was just having loud music. And we really came up with a kind of a, I think accommodation for the business and also for the people who live there. To basically 10 o'clock was kind of the cutoff. <laughs> 
you know, and it's, everybody understands when you move to downtown Mystic area, for example, I just use this as an example because I think it's, it's a great case. You don't expect it to be like you're out on a farm with a hundred acres, you know, it's, you know, it, to some extent what you're getting into. But on the other hand, um, I think there's a reasonable limit and that seemed to work really well. And I think there was a good balance for many years because of that. <clears throat> and now with things developing even more, I mean, that's still, that's a real challenge, but I think establishing the framework early was really good. People kind of knew what to expect, the business owners and the residents. So. Uh, do you see uh, yourself as setting policy in that committee or do you see yourself as following policy? Well, I think you, to some extent, you do have leeway to set <clears throat> some things like the hours. Um, we did certainly, on the zoning commission, we did a whole zoning rewrite. But each one of those things, there has to be, of course, public hearings. There's an opportunity for the public to speak at any meeting, other than workshops and things. And um, we do try to also have that balance. So uh, one may say, or oh, we really setting policy. Well, um, I think there's a lot of other things that enter into it, including the public, including town staff. I think we're fortunate to have some of the most expert town staff when it comes to uh, you know, planning and zoning issues. And you have all these other documents that govern too, you know, plan of conservation development and other things. Um, so um, yes, there are some things we can agree on like hours or whatever, but a lot of it, I think we, we do get a lot of good direction and certainly listen to uh, what people are counseling us um, to do or to think about, so. How do you uh, compare the activity of the, or the, the purpose of the Planning and Zone Commission with the purpose of the Town Council? Um, <clears throat> I, uh, well, I don't know, I, that's, that's an interesting question. Um, for one, certainly a Town Council are elected people of a political party. Um, and you have such an agenda, it's just, uh, to me, it's remarkable, uh, the number of hours and the number of issues and things you have to deal with. It's a, it's a huge, I think, broad agenda that you're, I know everyone feels such responsibility and should um, for that. And there again, you're accommodating people in the town and also some of your own rules, regulations and all. So I think ours is a lot more limited, quite honestly. I mean, people come in with their applications to do things. We have certain rules and we get advice from the town staff and all, and we have our own experience too. And we try to, uh, you know, accommodate that as well as possible. <clears throat> so we're really dealing, you know, with site plan type things or sometimes with more general, do we want to change the zoning, <clears throat> you know, to, um, you know, for example, downtown Mystic, do we want to put a limit on how high buildings can go? Things like that. That's the sort of thing we get into, but we have nowhere near the broad reach of the town council. You know, we are all volunteers. So. Sure, we all are. <laughs> yes. Um, do you ever see the council and the uh, zoning and planning commission in uh, or planning and zoning in conflict? Well, um, I don't know yet. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess in the, I could give an example. <clears throat> this isn't really so much, I don't know if it was ever a town council vote on a sort of issue like this, but town councilors may often express their own opinions on things. For example, we were looking at the rewrite of the Water Re Resource Protection District and a question came up, should we have a non-disturbance line that was 50 feet away or 100 feet? And there were a lot of town councilors that felt very strongly about 100 foot, not everybody, but they would come to you know, zoning meeting in that case and they would come and stand before us like you know, everyone is you know, encouraged to do and give their point of view. So um, I don't know if that answers your question, but. Not quite, but uh, it gives me a general idea. Um, I'm just, I, I'm thinking 
of the project at the Mystic Oral School. Mm. Um, have you, what is your opinion about that? Well, I'm really not, um, I don't, I really can't give an opinion on that. Uh, we don't have an application. Um, we've had workshops. Um, we've certainly walked the property, but um, I would have a few problems with that. First off, we don't really know what is proposed. And the other thing is I am one of, you know, one of other people on the commission, you know, five of us commissioners. And until we hear everything, read all the background, we discuss it. Um, I'm not one to voice my opinion on that <clears throat> because I think it's premature. I don't have all the facts, nor do I talk to anybody in the general public about it on my uh, free time, you know? To me, it's just like, no, that's not my role. I'm one of many, and we certainly do have a lot of material, but the key uh, pieces of it are not there yet. Okay. Thank you. Sure. I have no further questions for you. I see Conrad has joined us. Yes, yes I have. Uh, thank you. Um, and Ms. Sutherland, I apologize for being late. I got caught at work. so. Uh, now is the first second I could get here. Uh, but um, when Councilor Zapieri suggested we bring you uh, forward to um, to talk to you, I thought that was a great idea because you know, you're know you the former chair. I, I missed the beginning of the meeting. I apologize again, so I may be repeating what others have said. But as former chair of the zoning board, uh, you bring a huge amount of knowledge uh, to mm -hmm. the planning and zoning committee as, as a whole. Uh, and I was real excited when you applied for it. Uh, and I remain one of your big supporters. So I'm happy to have you here. Um, kind of the interest, the issue I'd want to talk about, because I know there's a wall between council and um, planning and zoning. I, I have not ever spoken to you about this off of the camera right now. <laughs> um, I would like to know, uh, we put in initially five people when we, um, had the when we set up planning and zoning and I'd like to know how that's working and if you think the joint committee is working well um, and uh, just your general thoughts on, on how everything is. Sure thanks yeah and these are just of course my my two cents <laughs> my thoughts on these. Um, <clears throat> I think um, I think one of the best things that happened is um, Steve Hudacek got on the Planning and Zoning Commission too. And as you know, he was chair long before I was chair. And so he has a wealth of experience. And of course, his uh, engineering background at EB and everything. Um, you know, he, he really knows his stuff. And uh, as chair, I always tried to also, I, I remember when I was elected chair, the first thing I did was to read Robert's rules cover to cover, because I thought I needed to understand the logic behind Remember this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a long flight to India. It was, it was perfect. So. Um, <clears throat> but I think um, zoning has a tendency to be more, um, you're learning a lot of legal things. You know, If you're comfortable reading legal documents, um, you'll fit right in. And we had an excellent commission. I miss all the people that were on that, because I think we were uh, we were very creative. Uh, we worked well with the town, um, and it was just, it was fun. We all enjoyed working with each other. And I think, though, <clears throat> with Jeff Pritchard on planning and zoning, he also he encourages a very good atmosphere in that he asks for everybody's opinion. Um, just because you're not a full commissioner, you still he will ask you what you think. And hearing what everybody says, I think it's it's a really it's a good group with different backgrounds, certainly different than we had on um, just zoning. It's a broader, you know, reach. Mm -hmm. And you have people that have been on planning uh, for years too. So I think it's very good. <clears throat> and I think the number five works out really well. Um, it's kind of like when you have um, one cat versus five cats. And as you move up the scale, it goes up, the problems increase geometrically. Mm -hmm. And I think if you keep adding people to your commission, you have a lot more interactions, a lot more things to answer. And for me, I think five is a very workable number, especially with the three alternates. Um, expanding it would, um, I think if the meetings would be pretty long sometimes. Yeah. Not that that's the end of the world, but it's kind of like, what do you really gain from this? You know, because you're, you're hearing from eight people now, right? 
which right. is great. So, <clears throat> and people are not shy about voicing their opinions. So Jeff really encourages that. Yeah, I've watched a few of the meetings and you all conduct yourself, you know, with the highest level of professionalism. So I'm always sure. impressed. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. <clears throat> thank you. And I'll be supporting your candidacy. Of course, it goes without saying. But uh, thank you for coming out tonight. I really appreciate it. Sure. Right. As well. Thanks, Con. Okay. Anything else? I'm happy to answer any questions. So. Mr. Chairman, right. can we vote on this? Yes. I'll call for a vote on the reappointment of Susan Sutherland to the Planning and Zoning Commission. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed abstentions. That carries unanimously 3-0-0. Thank you. Hey, thank Sue, you very wait, much. Walking around, oh, wait, uh, wait, wait a minute. Hang, hang on a second. Sue, so, so um, I know Chairman Melendez is probably shuffling through paperwork, but the next step is for uh, the uh, chair, this chairman, Melendez, will send the uh, report to the town council and it'll go on one of the, I don't know if it'll go on the next council meeting or the, or, or uh, September. Okay. Great. Thank you very much, Betsy. Yeah, but you're still, you're basically still a voting member until you're replaced uh, or right. re reappointed. So nothing really changes. Right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks for having me in. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Wave Bye. when you're walking around the neighborhood. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. okay. Next, we had an appointment for a Courtney McCracken, but I don't believe they are here. Um, so, considering they're a new appointment, I think we should probably skip that. Second. Uh, I don't think okay. that. Table it to the next meeting. Okay. Um, Is that that's a motion to table? Are we all in favor of that? I don't think we need. I don't think we need the motion. I think. Yeah. It'll just stay. On, it'll just stay on. It'll go on to your next meeting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's you know how it's supposed mean. to work. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll try to remember that. We had a little trouble with a couple of the, this last agenda, but. We'll fix. It's just it's just the legislative program that we use is not a legislative program. So if it were, it would automatically put it on your next agenda, but it doesn't work that way. So sorry, but we'll we'll muddle along until we get something better. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so do I hear a motion to reappoint John Rusbicki to the Water Pollution Control Authority? So moved. Second. Heed. All right, any discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed abstentions, that carries unanimously 3-0-0. All right. Next business is the um, 2020-590 Boards and Commission member recognition. Um, I have to step out of the room for just a second to grab something off the grill. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, is that on our agenda? I don't see it here. I see other business, but nothing listed. Yeah. Uh, let me forward you this one. It, it's uh, you don't have five point. Do you have the Tuesday, July twentieth agenda? Uh, July fifteenth. Let's see. I probably have the twenty. Let's see. Oh yep, yeah, this one. Well, I have the minutes. We sent the minutes today. Let's see. Let me forward it to you. Yeah, I don't see it. I'm sorry. Oh, here, 715. No, that's the same one. Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, board commission member recognition. All right. Okay, very good. Um, we don't have a motion prepared in advance, so I'll just open the floor up for discussion. Um, 
I'm back. Anybody have anything to say? Oh. Welcome back, Betsy. Actually, um, we when we originally approved this um, to go to the full cow, um, there were some problems with what with what we had uh, approved, and uh, so it was sent back to us. And um, town clerk said that she would help us um, resolving some of those issues. So. If you would, um, Betsy, if you would like to sort of, um, I don't know, open open the discussion on what is, you know, your recommendation on how to move forward with this. Okay, so, um, you know, when I became town clerk, uh, I, I adopted what had been um, the process for recognition um, normal recognition, let's say, okay. Uh, I also was privy to um, things that had been done in the past, which I think that you would love, but budget cuts um, stymied it, although we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So let me just tell you what we currently do. When a town uh, appointed board of commission member resigns um, or retires, you know, there's a lot of different ways of people leaving. Sometimes they're not reappointed and that's a little sticky to deal with, but we still do. Um, uh, I'm supposed to know about this stuff or my office is supposed to be in know about this. And we send uh, a letter of, um, of thanks and recognition of their, of their um, contribution for the town because, you know, we all know that all of our jobs, uh, not mine anymore, but when I was a volunteer, you know, we, we were volunteers and that's how our government is. So it's very important to recognize um, the, the men and women who contribute uh, to the town. So well, we have a standard letter um, that is uh, forwarded, um, you know, is mailed and, and emailed. <laughs> uh, I don't mail them to uh, town staff or, or chairman by email. Um, you know, so they know that they're going. Yeah. So with the elected town council and RTM, if, if, if a member uh, chooses not to run again, um, there is also a process, a, a proclamation in a, in a sense is, is, uh, is given to those members. Now, if somebody has been serving for 30 years, you know, you might want to do a little more. Um, that's that's up to the you know to the council and a budget you know to do so. I don't have the authority just to spend money like that if it's not been budgeted. But the council, um, you know, future councils can put aside money either in the town manager's office uh, or the town. I would prefer you did it in mine uh, only because then you'd see it all the time. It couldn't be used for anything else. You know, <laughs> so um, what had been done was a, an annual. Citizens Day, which recognized everybody who is volunteering. So boards, commissions, RTM council. And that, that um, event would also recognize and award people who, who resigned or left office. You know, so would, there would be an actual function, you know, an annual, not every, you know, every time. Uh, every month, you know, you wouldn't have something doing every month. It would just be too. It would just be crazy. I, I'd have to have an employee just doing that all the time, you know. <laughs> so, um, well, it wouldn't be that bad. I mean, we do have, you know, rec we do have uh, a lot of activity. Anywho, I, I really liked that um, that process, and I the last time that I actually asked to fund it was 2016. So you've never seen that in a budget. <laughs> You've never seen that in your requested budget. Uh, the, the FYE 2016 budget, I had requested it, and it didn't even get past the town manager. <laughs> so, <laughs> let me see. Um, um, anyway, so so the next um, item that you had had in your resolution, I. Um, I was bought and by it because uh, I really wasn't privy to any of this going on. I, I was surprised. And when you added in employees being recognized, a red flag went up in my head 
And, um, and of course, Bob Zagami, our HR director, oh yeah, when he saw that, he said, oh, we can't do that. I can't, you know, we can't be singling out um, employees. That, that's, that cannot happen from my office. That has to happen either from the department head. I mean, that, you know, I really don't even know the law on that or any ethical question, but certainly not from the town clerk's office. That would just, I, I don't deal with employee recognition. My own employees, yeah, I do my own employees, but I don't do planning or accounting or, you know. <laughs> I, I don't think when we were recognizing people, we were looking to recognize the volunteers, not the employees, if, if I remember right. Right. Um, I agree. We were looking to recognize volunteers. My, my, I had recommended this originally. Uh, I had brought this forward to the committee. My feeling is that we have a lot of uh, openings on uh, our uh, 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 boards and commissions. We have a lot of people that put in a lot of time as volunteers. I think it would be a good idea to recognize them just so as to say the town appreciates them. I think it should be done on a monthly basis. I disagree with the, with the town clerk. Uh, I think it should be done on a monthly basis because I would like to bring attention to, e to everyone following the activities of the council that we are seeking, we are appreciative of people who have volunteered their time and we are seeking additional volunteers. Uh, I think we have to bring this up on a regular basis. If you say something once, it might have an effect for a day or two. Maybe the Gettysburg Address is something that had lasting impression. But uh, generally, when you say something, its effectiveness is uh, limited to the, the immediate memories of the people that hear it and the importance they ascribe to it. So. I don't think this is going to be a high item on most people's agenda, but it will continue to call attention to the fact that there are scores of people who volunteer their time and efforts for no reimbursement in service to the town. And I think that's commendable. I think it's, uh, it's something that we should recognize, not only for the purposes of justly saying to that, those people, we appreciate their efforts, but for purposes of letting the people, other people in the town know that these are activities going on and they should consider or may consider uh, participating in that way. Uh, so that's my, my feeling of why we should do it and why we should do it for volunteers and not for others. Uh, that's why I recommended it in the first time. Of course, whenever you bring something to a committee, an idea to committee, what comes out of it is not what went into it. Uh, I mean, at least from the original founder. And whatever we bring to the council will not necessarily come out as what uh, we intended to, intended to accomplish. But those are the, that's the aspect that I see. Thank you. Uh, I, I would add that I think to do it every meeting may, I don't know how much workload that would put on the staff to create, I mean, it probably won't be too much, but um, I know some of our meetings can go long. And if it was the first town council meeting every quarter, for example, that might be more workable. Um, and I think there may be more people who are in need of recognition at that point, but if, um, as opposed to one month, I'd say quarterly or biannually. Um, which would be once or either twice or four times a year. That would be my suggestion, just to save time. Sure. I agree. I, I understand your interest in saving time, but I think it takes away from my interest in promoting uh, the thoughtfulness of other people who have not yet participated in town government. Uh, that's, that's, that's the distinction I would make. Uh, as far as the effort by... Uh, town staff, I don't think it takes much effort at all to uh, just cite someone for having participated in such and such a committee for such and such a period of time and uh, express uh, uh, appreciation. I can probably do something like that for most of them in 15 minutes or less. 
Uh, and as far as the presentation itself, uh, that should be no more than five minutes, uh, even when you have more than one person receiving such recognition. Uh, those are my thoughts. Thank you. Clerk McCausher. Oh, thank you, Chairman. Um, I, I, you know, it's great to, to discuss this, and I think it's great. And I'm, I'm really great, it's great to hear that you're, you took the employee out because the resolution that I was given, um, you know, when, when the, from the community of the whole, it definitely was, you know, town council recognized the efforts of employees and volunteers, and it, you know, it, and it stated what we would do. And it was just, I'm so glad that you went past that um, because it just really was frightening to me. Um, I like I like all the ideas. Um, the quarterly is is probably the best idea because we don't have anything every month. You know, we we may not, or we could have six in one month. So you know, uh, as far as the time constraints, it, it, you know, it's dangerous for anyone to uh, to uh, suggest how long or how much time it takes anyone to do their job. Uh, certainly, uh, certainly, you shouldn't presume how our office runs. Uh, you're welcome to come and sit with us every day and see how it goes. I'll put us on camera. But the point that I'm trying to make is uh, it's easy to track, we track, we track everybody. I, I have a database that, that has all the boards and commissions and from the very beginning um, of, of their of the tenure, you know, from, from, from before uh, Conrad was born. <laughs> so, you know, we have that information along with who was the uh, first uh, manager uh, or the selectman or, you know, back when we had um, uh, no town hall. Burning wood. Burning wood. <laughs> My son asked what's burning, uh, burning wood. So anywho, uh, you know, what, whatever you guys decide, we will absolutely um, you know, be able to support. If it's, if it becomes too much of a problem, I'll let you know, you know, and we'll come up with a different uh, solution, but you know, at least we start doing something. I, I really think that having it once a month will lose its veracity, though, just like it has with the um, the people that make donations uh, every month. Uh, you know, we we have a whole list of them, and we started. Someone started reading them. I think it was you, Councillor Zerpiri, uh, and then Councillor Obrey. I mean, it was it was great, and then it just fell off. You know, so um, I don't want this to fall off. So if it becomes a once a month thing, it'll just it'll just go away. And I, you know, it'll be in the consent calendar and poof, it'll be gone. And so um, quarterly, then we can make it an actual line item. It won't go into consent, you know, like all the boards and commission appointments go into consent. This won't do that. Yeah, so so from what I remember, yeah, we, we brought it out of our committee and it was for the volunteers. And then when it went to the Cal um, employees, was brought into discussion. Um, for me, like how I'm understanding this discussion, it, it's kind of two different things. One is um, what what Clerk McCoucher had brought up was a um, an event once a year that recognized everyone everyone currently volunteering and and sort of saying thank you. The other thing being discussed is sort of a at the end of your at the end of your service, um, we say thank you at the um, town council meeting. I, I think that's what is meant by doing it every month. Is sort of every month we check or every quarter, it's checked who is no longer serving, and then we sort of present them with a plaque or whatever it is that we're going to do to say thank you. Um, but. With that plan, there's nothing sort of like, let's say I serve on a board for 10 years. There's nothing from the time that I start serving to the day that I leave until I do leave. I feel like with the annual event every year, you know, the people are recognized for their service. So um, I sort of prefer that route. Um, I. Perhaps both can be done, um, but I, I definitely value sort of saying thank you at an event every year. 
because I think, you know, thinking back to when I was serving on Water Pollution Control Authority, I, I would like, I think I would appreciate more, um, you know, sort of a night out and, and getting to speak with everybody else who's volunteering in town. Um, I, I think I would have valued that a lot. I thought, I think I would have thought it was fun. So I definitely want to support that um, idea. But I, I do think they're kind of two different things. One is sort of um, recognizing the people only as they're leaving. And the other one is sort of on a continuous basis. So I don't know, just to get people's thoughts on that. Okay, where do we go from here? Um, well, we, in order to make a rec, if you want to make a recommendation, then it has to be a motion and then we vote on it and then it would go to the full council. Um, so if anyone has a motion or any other discussion. Uh, could I just ask Betsy to recap what they did before? Just the bullet points. Oh, okay. So, um, so are you talking about what we currently do or what was done before uh, I was, well, it was long before, that before I was town council, I can tell you um, the last time it was funded, um, 2008, 2008 was the last time it was funded, the recognition. And, and what we did was, um, well, we had a whole program at the senior center where we would you know, explain what offices did briefly. So you'd have from town council all the way down to, to uh, zoning commission, you know, ABC all the way down. Um, and uh, then we'd recognize each person who, who um, retired. Um, and then we, but we also had a parting gift for everybody who attended. So not everybody was interested in attending, you, you know, uh, I know that um, Barbara Tarbox, she wouldn't even let us, let us give her a party, uh, you know, a recognition party, nothing. She didn't want a proclamation, nothing. So it was really, you know, that's her choice. So Who was that? Barbara Tarbox, my, my uh, the, the past town clerk. So, but, you know, I'm so, she had many years of service. You know, then you have uh, uh, Nancy who was our tax collector for many years. We had a huge party for her at, at the Marriott. So, you know, everybody's different. And uh, well, so- was a tar and feather party. <laughs> a tar and feather party? Yeah, that was a big fun party for, for Nancy Ditko. She, she was a fun person. <clears throat> She's a queen bee, she, she raises bees. Anywho, that, the, the uh, event for boards and commissions at the senior center was a, a light affair, not a heavy, not a dinner party or dancing or anything like that. It was a very light, you know, you had a small sandwiches or something uh, uh, and, and uh, punch and, um, and, a, and a parting gift, you know, like um, a tote bag or a letter opener, or, you know, umbrella or something. You know, we had different things every year uh, that had the town seal on it. You know, nice, it was nice, but, um, you know, not, we didn't. Uh, we didn't do giant proclamations. Uh, those are expensive. <laughs> so you know, you know, you're talking about a lot of money if you're doing for everybody. Uh, folders. I have lovely folders. I think they're beautiful. Um, Conrad's seen them. Uh, I don't know if you have seen them, uh, uh, Councilor Superior, but account, you know, Chairman Melendez has seen those. You know, the blue the blue folders. It's a it's a, a rich royal blue with a gold. Um, town council seal on the front and then inside I put a on linen paper the whatever you're going to say proclamation or or recognition letter and then it has a foiled seal and blue ribbon it's very pretty it's, you know it's very really rich looking that I think is is, a, is an economical yet meaningful recognition you know uh, so anyway, I like I like the idea of a, a of the quarterly. Um, well, let's just see how it works. I mean, I have a few people who've recently resigned, but we're going to have some counselors and RTM people that aren't seeking re-election, so that'll be in January that we have that recognition. 
because uh, your term expires in December, the first meeting is in January. Um, so, unless there's a, I don't remember, do you guys do? I don't remember, I'll have to talk about that. I guess, I don't recall really what we do with the new council, if they have a special meeting, maybe? Yeah, maybe have a special meeting in December because uh, your term ends in December and then, yeah, so it must be the same day. Yeah, special meeting in December. Yeah, so that would be, you, you would either use that first meeting or wait until January, you know, to do your first recognitions. You, you know, I don't, it's up to you if you wanna <laughs> give a brand new council uh, something they don't even, have never done, you know what I mean? Uh, have I confused you? Oh, no, no. Uh, so um, I'm just thinking like initially we thought we'd give a plaque to somebody who retires, uh, but uh, this sounds actually kind of interesting. I mean, uh, I know that we have different things with uh, Croton seals on it. You have the Economic Development Cup, um, or it's got the little logo on it. Uh, the same thing for, um, I think that I saw umbrellas at one point. Um, but those are interesting. I don't know that you need to give it to everyone. Uh, I think recognizing people as they're leaving is, is great. Um, I mean, you could give something like that to everybody every year, maybe on the annual basis. I'm just, what I'm thinking now is what's the difference between a quarterly versus an annual? Oh, I think the quarterly would be, if on your agenda, the council stops their meeting. If the people, if the person is there, they, they can recognize them and hand them a certificate. And then your your annual would be you know for everybody who's currently serving. So your your current servers, you know, and you you could do you yeah. could re, re you could redo. I don't think you want to redo recognition of of uh, uh, of retirement uh, at your annual. It's just your annual. Thank you very much for volunteering, people. You know, yeah, you shouldn't have to wait until you leave to get recognized. <laughs> But you know, this council and several other councils have taken a, an initiative, which is asking um, uh, reappointment uh, candidates to come in so you can talk to them, like you did tonight with with uh, with Sue Sutherland. That, that's that's what they, you know. I I've heard it from um, boards and commission members that they love that they get an, they never had an opportunity to talk to the council. You know, you get appointed and then you just get reappointed. And this is terrific. You get an opportunity to hear, you know, right from them instead of just watching a meeting, you know. So it's terrific that you do this. Um, anyway, I, that's a, that, that completely is off topic. <laughs> but, but, you know, people do, I, you know, think about yourselves. Wouldn't it be nice to have a party that you didn't have, you know, that you could go to, you know, an afternoon, Saturday afternoon, uh, not not in, not in the summer because nobody's going to use a Saturday afternoon and you're going to do it, you know, March or something like that <laughs> or April, um, you know, and then you come out and you say, uh, thank you for, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I think that people like it. Like you'd like it. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. The idea quarterly, like present a, a proclamation at the council, uh, recognizing, recognizing anyone who's retiring or stepping aside um, and an annual thank you is is always a nice thing. I, I like both those ideas. I agree. I think I think both of them um, together would work well because it would, you know, it's one thanking while you're serving, and then the the other at the end thanking you again for you know all the time that you put in. So, um, yeah, and you never really get a, a time. You don't get a whole lot of time to get together and talk with with uh, other volunteers in the town government. So, absolutely, absolutely. So let me try and write a motion here, and then I'll read it out, and then we could do a second. Second. <laughs> we love you, Joe. <laughs> Uh, 
Sorry, I stepped away. Did you say something? Uh, Juan is writing a, a motion, of course. I'm sorry, Councillor Melendez. Chairman. Chairman, yes. <laughs> Okay, I make a motion to establish an annual recognition event that will recognize all currently serving volunteers in the town, as well as um, establish the precedent of recognizing all retiring volunteers quarterly. So moved. I don't know if that's good enough. Second. And for discussion, may I ask, uh, how do you, how would we be recognizing uh, retirees quarterly? Is those are volunteer retirees, right? Yeah. So okay. So let me put that in there too. That, so I like the proclamation idea. Town clerk, do you think that's the best way to go? I do. I think it's the the. Uh it's it wouldn't be a you know 15 paragraph proclamation but you know it's it's a it's it'll be a standard and i'll i'll work with the committee for their for your approval on that but we're... okay hold on Silence now. Are we doing something? Uh, Chair Melendez is writing an amendment to his motion. Okay. Thank you. Are you yeah, I'm just trying to finish. In the quiet, I'll just mention thank you, um, Town Clerk. McCausher for all of your assistance on this. Oh, no problem. So you're going to have an all an annual all ABC member um, uh, Citizens Day. Correct. I like that. I'll write that. <laughs> ABC is short for Agency Board and Commission. <laughs> okay. Okay, I make a motion to establish an annual event recognizing all current agency board and commission volunteers in town, as well as quarterly recognize all agency board and commission volunteers who have retired. So moved. Second. Okay, any discussion? Seeing none, I'll call for a vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Yep. Opposed abstentions. That carries unanimously three zero zero. Okay, so so uh funding the uh annual um 
that's going to have to be, uh, if you're going to do it for 2022, we've already done that budget. I don't know what we'll do. Uh, we'll come up with something, I suppose. Um, I'm always good at finding money somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so we'll, uh, we'll we'll look at a calendar and and come up with a plan and bring it bring it back to you guys. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Um. All right. Moving on to review of agenda items and other business. Okay, seeing none, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Moved. Second. All right, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, abstentions. That carries unanimously 300 and we are adjourned at 626. Good night Thank all. You. Thank you. Good night. Good night.